Hello guys, in the previous video we discussed about the logic behind the connections of JK flip flop to implement a counter, it can be 2 bit, 3 bit and so on. But in this video we are going to actually implement it but we are not going to use the blocks, we are used, going to use the ICs to connect, the particular IC74 LS76, not the blocks in that IC. And we are going to implement a 4 bit counter, so just go to place components and we will search for the IC, you can go to the IC family or just search for, you know, search in all groups for 74 LS76 in all groups. This is the IC that I want. You can say like this block, but I want to prefer more IC. More preference is going to be IC because obviously in laboratories we need ICs to connect them. So if you see this IC for two bit counters, we got we needed two blocks, right? So if, if you see this IC, it has two blocks. This is the first block and this is the second block, whatever, right? But I want to implement a four bit counter. For for that four bit counter, I'm going to need four blocks, right? For that four block, I can just co copy this and paste it. So now we have four blocks. This is the first block, second block. This is the third block, and this is the fourth block. Now we have we have all the flow four blocks now first of all let us do the easy things first i'll just shift a bit it a bit to the right side i'll connect the easy things first right so vcc is the most easiest thing to connect first and we forget to connect many things of vcc so we'll connect the easy things so see vcc first of all the easy thing is to connect vcc of this ic and again vcc of this ic that it will at least work so these ic's are working fine now what we are going to do we are just going to connect the preset and set so so not preset, yeah. preset and clear actually. For our first block, this is the preset and this is the clear. It is going to be connected to one. For the second block, this is the preset and this is the clear. So again, same thing, it is going to be connected to VCG. This is easy. And after that, again, if you see this is the, for the first block, this is the preset and this is the clear. Again, the same thing for second block, this is the clear value and this is the, sorry, this was the preset and this is the clear. So we connected preset and clear. And the important part is for JK flip-flops, we use them as counters when we use the toggling case. By toggling case, what I mean is I am going to connect J and K both to one. So for this block, J one J and one K are going to be connected to one. So one J and one K. See each and every wire is going to connect be connected to VC. So so if you connect it is going to be one only. One J and one K is one. Now two J and two K will be one. So two K. This is two K, right? I'll just shift it to a bit right side. Yeah. So this is two K and 2j yeah 2j and 2k are we going to be connected to one again the same thing 1j and 1k so this is 1j this is 1k to one and again 2j and 2k i'll shift it to a bit right side not double click yeah so this is 2j and 2k so 2j and 2k are connected to one this is fine whatever we want we did I'll just zoom it out a bit and yeah, shift it. So let us discuss more about it. So we connected the easy things, which is the VCC. Now we have to connect the clock. So to connect the clock, just go to place. You can use a function generator, which is which will get from here. But instead of I, that, I prefer a digital clock. So you can just go in components and just search for a digital clock. Type digital and you'll just get a digital clock. Just connect it over here. I need to zoom it out a bit, I guess. Yeah, I hope it is visible and clear. So this is the clock, right? We can change its frequency according to us. First of all, let us connect the connections. So this is going to be the connection of this clock. Now the output of this flow first block is going to be Q0 or whatever your names are, whatever it is, you know. I'll use one thing. I'll use a probe to connect it. So first of all, just go to place components and just search for probes. So I'll just use a blue probe, which is an easy thing. I'll just change some of the values that it has. So I'll just change it to Q0. And after that, we are going to go to Q1, Q2, Q3 and so on. So copy and paste it so that we'll just get Q1. This is Q2. This is Q3. So that we get a 4-bit counter. So now what we are going to do is Q0 is the easy thing, right? So 1Q. But remember, the output of this first block is going to be the input of clock of the second block. So this is the first block and we have to find the clock of the second block. So if you see, it is here, over here. The clock of second block is over here. So we'll connect it. So this is fine. Now this is for a 2-bit. But for 2-bit, we'll connect this Q0 to this Q1, right? Not the, I didn't mean Q1, I meant the, this value basically, the first block. Now the output of this second block, because I connected the clock, right? So 2Q is going to be the output of the second block, which is this thing. So this Q2, sorry, this 2Q will be connected to the clock of the third block. This is the third block and this is the third block. Basically one means th the third block in this IC. And I'll just shift it to a bit right side. So this is going to be connected to this thing. And the output of this 1Q, which is this thing right now, I'll have to shift it. Yeah. So this 1Q is going to be connected to the input of second clock, which is over here. So I'll connect it here. And the output of this two second clock or the fourth block actually, but which is one, sorry, 2Q, it is going to be connected to the LSB value. 
sorry yeah i'll connect it connect it over here so q3 so i just need to connect q1 and q2 q1 means so this was the first block for q0 for this q q1 we are going to connect it to the output of the second block output of the second block means 2q right so where is 2q yeah it is over here just connect it over here it seems a bit shabby but whatever the third block which is 1q of the second ic which is going to be this thing now let's just run this and the frequency is too high for us to identify what that is happening so i'll just change the frequency let us say to 10 and looks like okay and i'll just stop the simulation and run it again so if you see what is happening this is zero then okay see what we did wrong over here is now this is not msb we just connected them to in the opposite sides so obviously i'll have to change them so this is going to be q3 that's why i told you all about the notations the notations are actually really important so i'll do one thing i'll just have to shift them in opposite sides right so this is q3 this is q2 this is q1 and this is q0 that's what i wanted and now let us try to run it i'll have to shift it still yeah now let us run this and just close this window so if you see this is zero then this is one this is two then these two will go there is three then again this will be four and this will go on it will go on from zero up to 15 when this ic this q3 also gets lit so if you see this working this was eight this is nine and so on so i'll do one thing i'll use a seven segment display so that we get the output more nicely i'll just stop it i'll do one thing i'll delete it and if you remember so the output of this thing so i told you all the wrong thing before so this is going to be the lsb value whichever whichever is the first output is going to be lsb so i'll just delete it the wires also are gone so that's nice just go to place component and if you go to indicators inside of it you will find hex, hex display you can connect a blue green whatever you want you know i'll just use a blue which is the simple thing so i'll just use a blue and the logic behind the behind it is in diodes i think it was there for you in the college or schools whatever 11 12 whatever so now what, whatever we are going to do is we are going to connect the lsb and msbs so if you remember this was the ls this is going to be lsb this is going to be msb so lsb is going to be connected to the first blocks output the second one is going to be connected to the second blocks output second block means 2q which is this this thing so this is 2q i'll connect it now the third block is going to be connected to this the third blocks output the third blocks output is 1q and the fourth block four blocks output is 2q so where is 2q yeah this is 2q yeah now let us simulate it and see if we get the outputs according to us so see it is zero it will be 1, it will be 2 and so on. The frequency is really less, I know that. I'll just change it to 25 so that it, it is identifiable. I'll just stop it and run it again. So if you see, it is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. It is going to go up to 15 but how will it display after 9? So after 9 it will go to A, B, C, D, E and F. This is 15 and again it will go from 0. And how it works, I have discussed in the previous video. You can click on this I card and go to that video card and watch the logic behind the connections. So that's all from my side. You can subscribe to our channel for more programming content, electronics content and everything. So thank you. Stay tuned and keep learning.